Well within range. <laughs> Animated stories by Boko. Bakhtir. In the heart of an enchanting oasis nestled amidst the arid embrace of the Egyptian desert, there lived a young warrior named Bakhtir. His dark skin bore the essence of the ancient sands, and his towering stature was a testament to his strength and prowess. Long ebony hair flowed down his back, elegantly tied into a tail that hung on the right side of his head. Bakhtir was a man of noble spirit, brave and fearless, revered by all who dwelled in the peaceful oasis village he called home. This village cradled between rolling hills and shaded by a forest of swaying palm trees was a haven of tranquility. Its inhabitants cherished the fertile land that provided bountiful harvests and they knew safety within its protective embrace. Much of that safety they owed to Bakhtir, their protector and guardian. With his armor glistening under the blazing sun, Bakhtir moved gracefully through the village. He was a sight to behold. Mounted on his trusty camel, its sturdy legs carrying him with an aura of confidence and purpose. Perched above him, his loyal hawk companion, Rork, surveyed the horizon with keen eyes, relaying the secrets of the land to his master. A unique bond linked Bakhtir and Rork. Whatever the hawk saw, Bakhtir could perceive as well. As Bakhtir passed through the narrow alleys of the village, the villagers greeted him warmly, their smiles reflecting the deep admiration and respect they held for him. He had rescued them from countless perils, from the jaws of the wild beasts to the cruel clutches of drought. His bravery and unwavering sense of duty had endeared him to all and their gratitude flowed through every joyful greeting. One warm morning, as the sun painted the sky in shades of orange and gold, Bakhtir approached his home. The wooden doors, barricaded to safeguard against intruders in his absence, bore the marks of his return. With a powerful swing of his kopesh, swing, they yielded and Bakhtir stepped into the dimly lit interior. The air inside was thick with memories of family and love. He moved through the chambers, his keen eyes searching for familiar objects that brought a rush of emotions. Coins lay scattered on tables, glinting in the faint light. Dust-covered furniture told tales of his absence, but it was the large earthenware storage jars, the pithos, that held his attention. With a sense of reverence, Bakhtir approached one of the pithos. His hands brushed the core surface, feeling the grooves and imperfections of the ancient clay. The lid creaked as he lifted it, revealing a cache of hidden treasures. Gold and silver coins gleamed within, remnants of a time long past. Bakhtir's fingers danced over the riches, but his heart was elsewhere. He continued his exploration, a sense of nostalgia guiding his steps. Each room held fragments of his past, echoes of a life he had left behind. As Bakhtir explored the corners of his ancestral home, his gaze fell upon an ancient chest nestled in a shadowy alcove. Its time-worn surface bore the scars of countless years, yet it remained steadfast, guarding secrets of generations long past. 
he approached it with a mixture of reverence and curiosity, his fingers tracing the intricate carvings that adorned its surface. These carvings depicted scenes of life in ancient Egypt, with hieroglyphs woven into the patterns, telling stories only those of his bloodline could decipher. With a sense of anticipation, Bakhtir carefully opened the chest. Inside, his eyes fell upon the magnificent sickle sword Kopesh, its presence commanding respect. A magnificent sword with its distinct curved blade lay within, its surface still pristine, its edge as sharp as the day it was forged. Bakhtir withdrew the Kopesh, marveling at its timeless beauty. It was a weapon of ancient design, a testament to the craftsmanship of his ancestors. Its hilt, adorned with intricate patterns, seemed to pulse with power and the blade shimmered with a hint of otherworldly magic. The weapon did not age, retaining its lethal splendor throughout the ages. But nestled beside the sword was a small weathered bag, the kind meant for cherished possessions. As he reached for it, a pang of emotion surged through him, for he recognized it instantly. It was a bag that had once belonged to his child. With trembling hands, he retrieved the bag, and as he held it close, he felt a wave of nostalgia wash over him. For a fleeting moment, as he kissed the bag in remembrance, he heard a soft innocent voice like the tinkling of wind chimes on a gentle breeze. It was the voice of his child speaking words that tugged at his heartstrings. Startled, Bakhtir turned swiftly expecting to see his beloved offspring standing before him, but the room remained empty, its silence profound. The ancient Egyptian decor that surrounded him added to the mystique of the moment, the intricately woven rugs adorned with symbols of prosperity, the subtle fragrances of incense lingering in the air, and the flickering glow of oil lamps casting dancing shadows on the walls. In the brief encounter with an illusion of his past, Bakhtir felt the weight of unspoken longing and the haunting echoes of what once was his reality. He took a deep breath, his emotions a tumultuous sea inside him, it was then that he realized he must return to the present for the path ahead was wheeled in uncertainty and he had a destiny to fulfill. With the copash in hand and the bag of memories carefully secured, Bakhtir stepped back into the light of the village, his spirit renewed and his resolve unshaken. Ancient Egypt held many mysteries and the sands of time would reveal them to him one adventure at a time. Bakhtir's faithful camel was a majestic creature, its dark skin blending seamlessly with the arid hues of the desert. This enormous beast stood tall and proud, a symbol of strength and endurance. Yet, what set this camel apart from others was the remarkable adornments that adorned her. Hanging on either side of her imposing neck were enormous elephant tusks, a stark contrast to her dark hide. They dangled like ancient trophies, a testament to the battles they had seen. When Bakhtir summoned her with a sharp whistle, these tusks would appear in an instant, gleaming in the desert sun adding an air of awe and intimidation to her presence. To protect against the harsh elements of the desert, Bakhtir had carefully covered his camel with cloth and light armor, 
a practical yet elegant attire that served both as protection and decoration. This cloth bore the intricate patterns and symbols of his village, marking her as a guardian of their people. The camel's saddle was a masterpiece of craftsmanship, tailored perfectly for Bakhtir's comfort. It was adorned with the supple hide of leopard, its softness a stark contrast to the rugged terrain they traversed. As Bakhtir mounted the saddle, he could feel the faint energy of the leopard hide, as if it carried the essence of the elusive creature itself. A chilling but captivating sight were the three human skulls that dangled from a leather cord tied to the camel's front left leg. Each skull bore its own unique markings, a silent testimony to past journeys and battles. They clinked together softly as the camel moved, a haunting melody of experiences etched in bone. Near her back, left leg, rested another solitary skull, a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of the desert and the dangers that lurked within. Bakhtir, a man of mystery and courage, carried these eerie mementos with him and they only added to the enigma that surrounded him. Together, Bakhtir and his camel were an inseparable duo, embarking on adventures that would challenge their mettle and test their bond. With her, Bakhtir could carry the weight of the world on his shoulders and she would stand by him, a sentinel of the desert, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. With the compassion his possession, Bakhtir's footsteps led him to a hidden spot. In the corner of the yard, a tall building rose above the village's single-story homes. Scaling it with the agility of a panther, he reached its peak and found another cache of treasures, coins once again, but also a sturdy shield. Bakhtir took it without hesitation, knowing it would serve him well in the trials that awaited. With the shield in tow, Bakhtir made a daring decision. From the rooftop, he surveyed the landscape, the palm trees casting long shadows on the warm sun-kissed streets below. Taking a deep breath, he made a breathtaking leap of faith plummeting from the roof into the waiting haystack below. It was a daring maneuver, one that sent a rush of exhilaration coursing through his veins, but he emerged unscathed, the haystack cradling him like a mother's embrace. Bakhtir stood up, dusting himself off, and continued his journey through the village. As he walked along the street, he felt a sense of destiny looming over him. The townsfolk went about their daily routines, the aroma of street vendors' offerings wafting through the air. The blade of his father's kopesh remained untouched, but Bakhtir could sense that it hungered for battle, its thirst for the enemy's blood yet to be quenched. The village, with its beauty and serenity, was just the beginning. Bakhtir's adventures were only just emerging on the horizon, and as he looked out upon the horizon, he knew that his path would be filled with challenges, magic and suspense. With his kopesh and shield by his side and Rork soaring above him, Bakhtir was ready to face the mysteries of ancient Egypt, for the sands held secrets that only he could uncover. <laughs>